In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Pizzolo video extension. The first thing you need to do is to create a folder where your data are going to be saved. You're going to navigate to your home folder and enter the name of Sleep Data. OK, now you're ready to start the Pizzolo video GUI application from the Start menu. Because it's the first time we're actually starting the software, we need to specify where the data is going to be saved. And that will be the folder that we just created. So I go to Options, and then you enter the name of the folder. Hit Save. And now you see here a number of monitors. The number of monitors can be configured in the Options. Uh, by default, it will be 9. And each monitor can be associated to a source. The source can be a camera, or like in the case we're using in this example, a pre-recorded video file. So we're associating monitor 1 to this nightsample.avi which we got from the website. And if you play, you see a preview on the thumbnail. Now you should be doing this for all the monitors, or better said, for all the cameras you have on your computer. Monitor 2, we have webcam 2, monitor 3, webcam 3, and so on. For now we're using this avi file just to show you how the system works. So, after you associated all the monitors with all the sources, you need to save the configuration file. Because we save with the default name, if we open the program again, it will be automatically loaded. So now if you go to Live View Panel and select Monitor 1, it will automatically pick the source we selected before, in this case the AVI file. The Live View Panel is where you can create a mask for your monitor. A mask defines the area where the flies move. Each area should surround either the glass tube or the groove in which the fly is walking. Select an area of interest, holding and dragging your left mouse button. If you need to select an area with an irregular shape, use the mouse to pick four corners you want to join together. If you make any mistake during the selection process, simply click on the right mouse button to undo. Using the buttons, you can also delete a single selection or completely clear the mask. If your arena has a very regular shape, you can generate a mask automatically by picking two corners and hitting the autofill button. Once you're happy with the mask you created, save it. Now let's go back to the thumbnails panel and what we need to do is to associate the mask we just created to monitor 1. So we go and load it. We also want to activate tracking for this monitor and decide how the fly activity will be calculated. You should read the documentation online to learn more about this process. When you're happy, you hit Apply, and then Save. Of course, you can also save the file with a different name if you wish. Once everything is set and saved, close the program, and we will see next how the acquisition works. Once everything is configured, you can start acquiring data. Acquisition happens through a different program. It can be launched through the Application menu, and then selecting Pizzolo Video Acquire. Once the program starts, you need to load the config file you want to use for the acquisition. You will be then prompted with a table listing all the monitors you previously configured and all the relevant information. Mark the checkbox Track for all the monitors you want to start the acquisition from and then hit the Start button. The software will now go through all the monitors in real time and start the tracking and data acquisition. The output file will be saved in the folder we created at the beginning of this tutorial. 